Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing out there? Guys, I'm up at Phillies. I'm going to have a Phillies breakfast this morning. Where are my Phillies cap? I've had breakfast here before. I used to come up here when the Phillies were in the playoffs and when they were in the World Series, I would come up here and have breakfast. I, I know their breakfast is good and consistent. But let me show you here. This is what's nice. They have specials here. Unlike other places, they have breakfast specials here. Here's their breakfast special. Right? I don't know how well you can see that. Breakfast special, 259 pesos. Freeze it and look at it. All right? And what's nice is, mm, comes with coffee. <clears throat> There's places you can go where you order a meal and it doesn't come with coffee. I feel every breakfast you order, no matter where you're at in the world, should come with uh, coffee. So, uh, oh, there she is with my coffee right there. It's piping hot coffee too, right? Fresh, is this brewed coffee? Yeah. This is even brewed coffee. All right, but uh, that's where I'm at this morning breakfast. A little bit about Phillies. From my understanding, you know what, first time I ever came to the Philippines, I walked by Phillies. Now, Envy's was not there. Envy's was just an empty parking lot at the time. Uh, but Phillies was here. Uh, I'm like, ah, Phillies, you know, Philadelphia Phillies. The original owner did have ties to Philadelphia. I'm not sure I never got a, a, uh, a solid answer. Maybe, maybe Ray, maybe Ray may know or somebody else may know, a long timer. Uh, but from what I was told, the guy was either from Philadelphia or had ties to Philadelphia and then started this uh, Phillies here. Now he has since passed. Uh, there are some memorabilia in here of, uh, of Philadelphia. Um, but anyways, I'm having breakfast at Phillies and I'm people watching. All right guys, I wanna let you know too. If you sit up on the rail, the rail right here, right by the sidewalk, you are always going to have vendors coming up, trying to sell you stuff. You're going to have people come up, trying to stick their hand out at you, trying to get money from you. Uh, I guess one of the advantages of living here is a lot of these vendors know me, so they don't even bother. Uh, but, yeah, just to be aware of that, you sit in, no problem. Nobody's gonna bother you. Nobody's gonna walk in here and uh, try to sell you something. The uh, security guards here do a decent job of running people off. Uh, but yeah, you'll have to just, you'll have to deal with that if you sit here on the rail. All right guys, my, I got the breakfast sandwich. I muffin, egg, cheese, bacon. Now, I ask them to toast the muffin and have crispy bacon. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you. Serve to order. Serve to order. You can see the cheese in there is all gooey. It's smoking hot. It's come out hot. The muffin has been, definitely has been toasted like I asked. And the bacon is crispy. Served to order. That's all I can say. And uh, it's time to dig in. All right, so I just finished up my meal. I'm full. I wouldn't say I'm full. I'm not packed. I'm not hungry. I'm content. And that's how I like to feel. I like to feel content when I have a breakfast or lunch or a dinner. I'm not the kind of person that stuffs my mouth so full. And when I'm done eating, I feel just terrible. So what is the damage? What is the damage? Here we go. There's the damage. 259. 259. I'm saving money eating here. Alright. The other place I used to eat at 365 every day. And a tip. Alright. 59. I'm saving money and I'm winning. I'm winning. Oh, yeah. Like
like I said, my breakfast sandwich came with a coffee. And of course, service order. Now, even if I order an extra coffee, I looked at the price of the coffee. It's still less than what I paid in the past. Uh, but I'm still winning. Even if I get an extra cup of coffee, I'm winning. Alright, so overall experience breakfast at Phillies. Very good. Once again, place is clean, staff is friendly. Uh, where I sat, uh, I was away from the staff, away from the waitresses, so I uh, had to bing the bell a few times to get their attention. No big deal. Um, it was where I was sitting. Uh, but very good. Uh, clean bathroom, guys. A very clean bathroom. Uh, unlike the other place I ate at, somebody sent me a photo the other day where the night before somebody was sick and they were throwing up in the bathroom and there was puke still on the wall in the bathroom. Couldn't even clean that up. Uh, but yeah, very good place. Uh, sun's in her eyes. Uh, I think I'm going to do breakfast reviews. That's one good, that's one thing I am good at. I'm good at breakfast reviews. I'm an expert at breakfast. So, anyways guys, that was my experience. Okay. Breakfast cooked to order. No problems, no issues. Uh, of course, I'll be back again at Phillies for their breakfast. Uh, when you're saving money, right? When you're saving money, you're winning. And I'm winning. All right, guys, this morning, the day after, <laughs> I'm up here at Happy's Bar and Chill. Greg's Hotel, the main the main restaurant in the hotel, not Pappy's Bar and Chill, the uh, Street Eats. I'm up here this morning. I've never been up here to eat. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I've known Erica Mercy uh, for well, how many years now, uh, but never came up to this, I guess never came up to this side of town to eat, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm gonna try their breakfast up here. Uh, like I said, breakfast. I'm a breakfast guy. I'll show you breakfast places. I'll let you know if it's good or if it's bad. Uh, so, let's go in and eat it, poppies. You guys, they still have Marcos's. I call it the Walmart scooter. All right, he called it the Tesla chopper. But they're still gonna <laughs> Marcos's uh, <laughs> little scooter in here. Crazy, huh? There's your bill of sale that they came up with. And agreed upon. All right, guys. I, first of all, let me tell you this: they have unlimited bottomless coffee here. All right. So if you're going to drink more than two cups of coffee, go with the bottomless. It's 79 for one cup, 129 for bottomless. So do the math. Makes sense. If you have more than one cup, go with the bottomless. All right. They have their, their menu here. All right. Hopefully I can put it up on the screen here for you. Uh, but I am going to go with the American, what is it called? Pappy's American Breakfast. Two eggs, potatoes, toast, and bacon. And like I told him, I said two eggs over medium. So we'll see if their cook knows how to cook over medium. And of course they say medium. I don't know why the women say me, don't say medium. They say medium. Medium. Over medium. <laughs> Uh, but it's $2.99. That's how much it costs for that. So, anyways, guys, when it gets here, I will show it to you. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen inside the uh, restaurant here, uh, but it is very nice. Very nice. They really have decorated it up since they opened it. Um, but you guys see it. Very nice. <laughs> All right, guys, it has finally arrived. Are you guys ready for it? And guess what? It appears that they are over medium. We'll do definitely do a little check here for sure. But check it out. Looks really good. Crispy bacon, two eggs over medium, home fried potatoes with onions. I did ask if they have onions in it, and they said yes. I like onions. You always gotta ask because sometimes they, sometimes you'll go places and they may throw like peppers in it or onions in it, and you get it and you didn't want it. So make sure to ask, all right? White toast and butter. Let's check. 
Let's see if they're over medium. One way to find out, right? Oh, that's not much fun. Four. Here we go. Here's the test. Are they over medium? They appear to look over medium. Oh, yeah. Oh, they have a nice little coating. Nice. I, I know my eggs, guys. Trust me. Don't piss me off about my eggs. <laughs> Got a nice little coating on it, which means they were lightly flipped over. Nice little juice. Yep. Definitely. Oh, yeah. They're over medium. Somebody finally got it right. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna dig in. I'll let you know how it is. The butter. Oh, the butter's hard or not? I can deal with it. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they give you butter and it's like real hard, and then you gotta like tear up your toast to put the butter on. It don't matter. Either way, you deal with it, right? So, all right. Let me dig in. I'll let you know what I think. All right, guys. Let me wrap this one up. I. uh I got talking with Eric, the owner of uh, Puppies there, and uh, his wife Mercy, and forgot to wrap it up. Uh, let me give you my breakdown of the breakfast I had. They have Poppies, Poppies, I better say it right. Somebody yelled at me because I was kidding around and called it Poppies, Poppies. Uh, it was called Poppies American Breakfast. Two eggs over medium, cooked to perfection. Uh, potatoes with onions, crispy bacon, and of course I had my coffee. Now somebody's gonna say, well, they knew you were coming, so they uh, made sure that they cooked your meal to perfection. Actually, no, nobody knew I was coming. Uh, like I said, that's the first time I ever ate it at uh, Pappy's there. Known those guys for years. I just never ventured to that side and uh, ate there. Uh, so nobody knew I was coming. And guess what? It, don't, it, it really doesn't matter. It don't matter if the Pope walks in there or just a random people coming off the street, consistency. You have to have consistency. Uh, the potatoes were very, very good. Uh, they weren't undercooked. Sometimes you get potatoes where they're hard and crunchy. They were perfect. The onions were perfect. The bacon was perfect, perfectly cooked. Bacon had a good taste to it. And of course, the eggs were definitely over medium, like I ordered. Uh, the, the butter, remember I was saying about the butter? It wasn't hard. Uh, it wasn't super soft, but it was very good, very spreadable. The only thing, and I'm giving my honest, honest review. The only thing I didn't care for uh, is the butter. butter. Butter sometimes is hit or, hit or miss here. Uh, but it's doable, right? It's not like pukeable or anything like that. It's doable. Uh, but overall, very good, very good. Guys, I say, if, if you're running a restaurant here, no matter where you're at, Angley City, Manila, Cebu, wherever you're at, and you're in a, you're a restaurant that's catering to the Western style people, those from the West, America, Canada, uh, Australia, well, Australia's not West, but you know what I'm saying, West, and you're charging a decent price, you better be consistent, you, you're, you better bring that consistency and what westerners are used to in you know in 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 a western style restaurant um that's all i gotta say you know you're gonna charge a little more well then you better provide a little bit better service consistent service and my whole bill came to 420 pesos what's that about eight bucks give or take yes it is a little bit more however guys people don't mind paying a little bit more for a better quality food here all right if i want rice a pork chop and an egg for 100 pesos i'll go to the caldereta here Cal caldereta i guess that's how you say it i know billy you've been living here for a long time you still can't pronounce it right but i don't mind going if that's what i want to spend and that's what i'm gonna get i'll go to a cheap place and guys a lot of times in filipino uh, little calderetis, calderetas, calendarias, uh, they're actually pretty darn good. So anyways, there's my review, guys. That said, Philly is winning. I am winning. Finally, somebody knows how to cook an American-style breakfast. Oh, I forgot to put this tidbit, tidbit in. 
I am a breakfast guy. Everybody knows that. I've eaten breakfast many, many places here. I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm not saying this because I know Eric and Mercy, and I'm not plugging, you know, I'm not paid to plug their, uh, their restaurant or anything like that, but I'm telling you right now, when it comes to a breakfast, easily one of the best breakfasts I've ever had here in the Philippines. Now, remember, eggs, bacon, and potato, the American breakfast. Probably one of the best, if not the best, American breakfast I've had in the Philippines. So, with that, we'll talk to you later.